So picture this. Beautiful Elizabeth. How is she beautiful? Hair the colour of Perrinport sand. Eyes possibly blue. Hard to look into them for long. She's lighthouse tall and sea brave. That's why she's beautiful. The way she strides into it. The way no wave has got the better of her. The way no type of weather will keep her out. And Ronald Munro, Abel Seaman Munro, loved her. Yes, he did. He sat on the sand dunes with the other men and counted the footsteps her feet made on the beach, watched her run as she got nearer the shore, her surfboard tucked lightly under her arm, near her breast. Fresh from Dunkirk they were, resting at the Penhale camp, trying to sleep. And the sand dunes were as near as they would come to the sea, the terrible sea that smelt of men and oil, sea that shouted to them in their dreams, I can't swim! I can't swim! No, the sand dunes were near enough for them, and for Ronald, he didn't want the breath of salt on his skin, didn't want the rumbling roar of breaking waves in his ears. Barbed wire didn't stop Elizabeth as it curled like sharp tumbleweed the length and breadth of her beloved beach. She either jumped it or placed her surfboard over it and walked across her wooden bridge, arms outstretched for balance, an acrobat in sea sucker. She knew the men, of course. They came into her father's chemist shop to collect medicine, memory tranquilizers, hand steadiers, nerve calmers. Shy and polite they were, not familiar like the local boys, not jitterbuggers like the G.I.s. Ronald Munro sometimes whispered, Thank you, lassie, under his breath, barely loud enough to tremble the lips. They all smoked, the trails rising on the dunes, ghostly signals of their presence. Elizabeth felt them watching her every day and an uncommon shyness came over her. She would cut herself on the wire or misjudge the wave and fall off her board. The fear of the men rolling down the dunes towards her. That's it, she thought one day. She was a no-nonsense sort of a girl. She turned around and headed towards the dunes, striding with her board. The men shifted on the sand, looking down, stubbing out their woodbines, adjusting their shirts. And she stood before them, beautiful Elizabeth. Who's coming then, she said. I'm going to teach you to surf. And she looked straight at Ronald. You, she says, trousers and shirt off, come with me. And over the barbed wire she takes him, his chest pebble white, her board a bridge for him. He rides an infant wave, holding her hand. She can't see the tears, salty as they are, that mingle with the spray. Beautiful Elizabeth. She didn't marry or even kiss him, but she taught him to surf, holding his hand. See her now, Elizabeth, 82, hair, sea foam white. She fancies she sees the scratch of wire tattooed onto the sands and steps over its invisible claw with her new board, one arm outstretched. <laughs>